What is going on everyone? Commodore Lass here today, bringing to you guys my live reaction of One Piece Manga Chapter 968. Now, the chapter has just come out. It's a Friday. You already know what it is, man. We gotta sit in this chair, get ready for the greatness. I was gonna hopefully wait until at least like Sunday morning, because I know like Manga Plus is gonna be releasing the chapters a little bit earlier, but because I have the day off, fits my schedule a little bit better. And let's be honest, man, I need my greatness. So it's been a little bit i think last time we read i think it was like right at the very 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 end of um december you know the whole thing going down with roger and stuff getting to see like you know his adventure and stuff and you know, all the he laughed like you know the, just an amazing uh god tier panel and just like you know just getting to see like the backstory of him like during his travels uh from water seven to the moment that he got to find the one piece it's like it's amazing man and even though it was like very little or basically nothing was stated on what the treasure itself was but like you just get the feel that this man went on an amazing adventure so that's probably gonna be us though honestly when we get to see luffy in front of the one piece itself and it actually happens it's gonna be like one like like top three greatest moments in the entire story just i can't wait for that but we gotta get into this chapter and see what's going on this week because after all that you have to assume now that the good stuff is out of the way we're probably going to get into like a lot of despair since we know that, of course, um, Orochi is going to do everything he can, you know, during this period of time to set up the downfall, basically, not just Wano, but for Odin and uh, no happiness is going to come there. So whether or not I'm going to find out, I got to read the chapter. So without further ado, let's get into it, guys. So One Piece chapter 968, the title of the chapter is Odin's Return, and I already can tell. This is going to be some dollar store scans, but you know what, man, we're, 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 we're going to have to go through. All right. We're going to have to deal with it. My schedule matters more in my uh, sanity. So I need the chapter. So, so back in dress Rosa with the, uh, Capone pirates are here to so help. So I guess one of the people got caught. Oh, Lola or, um, Chafon got captured. I already see the two bond watermarks. So I'm, I'm already, I'm already disgusted. This chapter cannot be a 10 unless something crazy happens. So just by that default, uh, these are the ugly sister from that series. So. Anyway, they got captured. They haven't translated the thing, so whatever. All right. Oh, man. What are we starting off with? Odin's journal. Upon Roger's return from Laugh Tale, what the treasures have left behind is. Akataro asked him. Oh, you're talking about basically with Shanks, but like uh, Akagami and stuff, right? Akataro asked him some kind of questions. And then he started crying. Because cause remember, he, he had that little the emotional spur and stuff going on. You know, worrying about his captain when they got to the port and everything. You know, and they were said, you know, he has like a year left to live. And... Oh, poor Shanks. The world is thrown into an uproar over the birth of the Pirate King. The Marines started mobilizing excessively. Wealth, fame, power. The one who has obtained everything. Pirate King Gold Roja. It's Gold D Roja. But this Pirate King thing doesn't sound too bad. <laughs> of course, well, because no, everyone else, I remember that thing was like way back in um, in Drum Island when it was the whole thing with, um, when we found out his actual name was Goldie Roger uh, through Dr. Correa, which you know, was a really cool game that. And that was like, See it for him saying it too. It's like, yo, that's not my name. Goljanai, Goldi Rojada. Shout out to Katsura. We now know why the world government does that. The reason they hid your name. Well, of course, they don't want to know uh, for the whole thing with the D's and stuff, man. Because uh, we need, I need, I need that voice entry, man. Like the ancient kingdom, I need that so bad. The world began calling all the things Roger had obtained with a certain name, the hidden treasure. One piece. They all know nothing about it. <laughs> but Roger, thanks to your reputation, more enemies will come to chase you down. I mean, if they want to box with, with the goal Hidi himself, then th just know that this man put Odin in a blender. And I don't know if the player white beard, I don't know. But if you want to try the king, you best not miss. All right. You lot, let's go. And bloody kill Roger. So you see all the bunch of the pirates that come trying to come and get him. We spotted Roger's ship, and I believe you had to see the Marines. Alright, let's go and loot their treasures. Take all of Gold Roger's possessions. Come to think of it, 
Everything is like a miracle. It's thanks to you guys who are ready to throw your lives away. I have nothing but deep gratitude to you all. Oh, you captain. What are you saying now all of a sudden? <laughs> Everyone got flustered. <laughs> this is so embarrassing, you idiots. Yeah. You idiots. See, go on. He's like, yo, nah, I got me, I got me. <laughs> Wait, where's, where's Rayleigh in this? Is that him right there in the corner right next to uh, Crocus? Oh, well, it has to be, though. Because when uh, Rayleigh, Crocus, like, yeah, it has to be. He's like, ah, shucks. <laughs> All right. I'll declare it. They'll come. I'm prepared. The Roger Pirates are disbanded. I hope we get to find out what happens to the other ones, man. Especially with Gabon, bro. Oh, but knowing Oda, he's not gonna give me that answer. Like he's not gonna give it to me for like a hundred, like two hundred chapters. Knowing him, he'll be born. Our king will be born. He'll be born in the fairway sea. The day when the two kings meet again will also make the whales happy. Hold on, son. We've been waiting for so, for so long. Just a little more. This time, it will be fine. It'll take about 10 to be born and about 15 to grow up. So I think they have to be talking about Shirahoshi, though. Oh, well, it's weird because they're saying king. I know you mean ace, which is what would. Most likely be the most sense and everything for it. But then I get out oh, of the timeline. It, nah, I think that's gotta be referring to Ace, though. That's gotta be referring to Ace, because of course, you know what I'm saying? Our king will be born. Who is it speaking in a seabed like this? Shirley, when do you think that little mermaid. Oh, so, no, no, so, so that's weird. Why would you go with king? Our king will be born. Oh, because. Because originally Poseidon. The thing, okay, that makes more sense now because again, I think Poseidon wasn't uh, necessarily confirmed. Like, like the origins of Poseidon was that of a female. I think it was that of a male and stuff, and it went down through airs and stuff. Okay, gotcha. So, but in that, it's almost like again, like when when um, when it's almost like a big mom which wants to be the pirate king, but technically the pirate queen is how you go with it. Gotcha. Say about ten years to be born, but fits and grow up. So, like, Charlie, when when you think a Little Mermaid will be born? Ten years. The voice is apparently the truth. That someone will be born and they will succeed us. We were so fast. The One Piece. Who do you think will find it? My son, of course. Oh, Roger, don't do this to me. Oh, you son of a gun. Oh, no one would. I, no, no one would be no man. I hate Oda. I'm about to. I'm a box that man. If I ever see him, he's the first person I'm going to hug and then box at the same time. You, oh, you can't do that. You can't do that to me, man. My son, of course. And really, he's already like, no way. From now on. Good. Let's drink. Let's go to a sea free of those Marines. I get off first. After that, wish for Odin. Odin. I'll meet Whitebeard before I die. I'll send you back to Wano as well. It's like, no. That guy's always aboard the ship. Please to uh, please to take care of Whitey Chan. Or please take care of Whitey Chan. <laughs> okay. So, I just gotta confirm at the very least, though, that when Roger was talking with Whitebeard, you know, before his demise and stuff, had to be in Wano with the Sakura uh, blossoms and stuff in the sky uh, coming down. What he said to Sir Rayleigh, the Dark King. Oh, man. He's covering his face. He doesn't want to show tears, man. Oh, really? That was his boy. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was, you ready to go on an adventure with me? Like, come on, man. And then you go back to, like, back to Saba Odi when he's thinking about those memories and stuff and the tears. Like, oh. And he's like, I'm, I, you know what? I'm going to live a little while longer. Like, those things, man, they resonate with me. So that just gave the scene this all, bro. Roger got off the ship. He got a lot of medicine from Crocus. The disease was already in its late stages. So my guy was literally just popping like, you know, like old snake. Trying to take as much uh, medicine as he can, man. Find the, the um, the G virus. I don't know, I'm trying to remember what the name of the damn virus was. Oh, well, I know it had to do with the nano machines and stuff. But there was a, a, a certain term for Metal Gear. So long since I remember it. A man's farewell. No one must shed tears but they all did 
the old dude. Even, look at those old shakes and monkey. Oh man, Gabon even th throwing tears too. Crocus as he should. Seagull in the back as well. Oh man. The Pirate King's crew do not shed tears. But how can he how can they not, man? Because that was that was their man. You know what I'm saying? That was their leader. That was the boss, man. The big boss. Like. Oh man. I can already tell the anime. Oh. To the Grand Line, I believe that's the name of the OST, but I can imagine hearing that during this like moment in the anime, like. Oh shoot. Wano Country Home Waters. The remains of the ship that was that has never entered the country because of the unwavering gr uh, greatness. Unwavering greatness. If you choose the wrong rapids, one will be impossible to enter. I was like, so they're going from the different routes. Uh, the thing before. There's a reason why Wano was isolated, but they should keep the borders open until the day that Joy Boy reappears. talking like reincarnation though because unless no because unless they're doing some like um unless they're doing, they're doing like a um, reanimated jutsu thing man they're preserving like the body or something that we don't know about but they have to be talking about reincarnation or something man because there's no way like unless because I, I don't know because then again you could make an argument in regards to roger that when he died they didn't bury him you know what i mean they, they could have burned him or something but they didn't bury him so the body could still be being preserved somewhere else right now that we don't know about. But I'm just throwing that in there because, again, unless we have a, like a proper grave. But even then with Joy Boy, I don't know, man. Because if this dude's been around since the Void Century. But again, it's like with Im, the same thing too. Because Im could, for all we know, be like a damn alien. For all we know, man. Like, I'm not going to die. Poor Odin. Of course. I left with a smile. We'll be able to meet again someday. So after Roger had dipped first and then Odin afterwards. Oh man. Yo, I took you right there waiting for your man. Odin son, we missed you, Toki. You see right there moment Oski and Yori running towards dad. He's like, ah, me too. All this time. I've always wanted to see you all. Oh, look at look at Yori. Yori's standing and everything for her pops, man. Look. Oh, she was already does it for greatness, man. And then she's going to interlope afterwards with, uh, with Zara, as she should. But, yo, know, look at that, man. Moen Elske. Oh, man. oji you son? You've become a lot bigger, Moen Elske. Yes, father. Ah, such good manners. Welcome back, walking human garbage. Yo, you're sick. Man, I had just a nice little reunion with his family. You go and say that. Like, you guys, where are you, you guys? Where are your manners? Not now. You got no right to talk about manners here. Yeah. <laughs> you see moment Oske, like a troll. <laughs> Odin Sama. Welcome back, Odin Sama. Odin Sama, we are glad for you. Lady Toki. He's a little confused. I didn't expect such a world warm welcome. I thought they condemn they condemn my actions. You have to show your gratitude to Lady Toki for that. What an amazing lady to a person Lady Toki is, not minding her illness. Every day she kept visiting this village and helping the villagers. Not minding her status as the Damio's wife, she works as hard as everyone here also to clear your name. She's been telling the adventure and the hardships that you went through. Right now, Lady Toki and the kids are indisputably the most popular figures in Kuri. And since such a great person like her keeps praising you, there's no single person in Kuri who think bad of your selfish action anymore. You know, because at the very least, they understand exactly why he set out out of Wano and everything. Because he wanted to see what the world was like. He wanted to see what kind of answers he could find for himself or the purpose of his life and everything. And he wouldn't have been able to follow to do that if he didn't go off with Roger on that adventure, man. So, at least to them, they were understanding. Because, of course, some countries, in terms of like dictatorship or just the way the, um, the mindset of the culture is, like you wouldn't be able to understand that nor respect it uh, from one other person if, you see, a majority... Uh, people just follow a certain mindset to it so shout out to Toki man 
She's <sighs> doing what she does for her man. I, anyone slanging this for her man, I don't know what they were just saying. They just want a girl that just belittles you, you know, just calls you trash and everything. That That is not a good woman in my books, man. We stand Lady Toki. I see. Thank you, everyone. Don't mind it. We're doing it because we love Odin Sun, right? Yo. I'm so jealous. I want to be popular too. <laughs> Oh, poor Rizal. I mean, of course, but well, that face doesn't help out too, but uh, he's a good man still. Kiku, I need you to tell me something about Izzel. I've heard from Inu-chan and Neko-chan. It's good as long as he's doing fine. I see. Uh, no, so Izzel, of course, staying back with uh, Whitebeard around that period of time and stuff. What about Denjiro and Ashura Doji? They went on their own since a year ago. Ashura has been protecting this place from Cody's Yakuza group and Mountain Bandits. Dendro is traveling from one place to another, borrowing funds for Curry and returning them. So they have been protecting this place from bandits and borrowing funds. I see. It's nice to hear the business is doing fine. Yes. There's one more reason why we are overjoyed by your return. We'd like to tell you everything from the start. So no, we're going to about the information possibly with, um, with Orochi. Because I don't know if they know about the whole flip about him getting in power and stuff. So he's about to learn this. Ever since you departed from this country, we somehow uh, have maintained the administration of this Damio-less curry with the help of its people. Just like what I feared. My father's conditions weren't good. It's too bad I wasn't by his side when he passed away. The main problem was the next successor for Shogun position. For a reason we couldn't understand, Sukiyaki-sama Suki pointed that at Orochi. And of course he has the exclamation thing going up. I was thrown into confusion after I heard their story. They said Orochi is like a brother to me. I was only lending him money because he was brought up by Asu-san. If Odin-san, please lend me money. Not to mention that he never returned the money I gave to him. Even more surprising, he is one of those Kurozumi people. So of course, man, like... He gave, he gave him the money there, but of course, he got, in terms of the next step, there's no way he could have trusted because he already knew what kind of person that uh, Orochi is and where he's from and everything. So I think Orochi Kurozumi, of all people, was the one appointed as my substitute. I'm sure you already saw weird people when you came back here. Oh, Kaido's group. Kaido's already in here, bro. Did tell us at the start of the chapter how many years now we're in because I think we're still at the point where Roger hasn't died yet. In each village, several weapon factories have been built, and their job is to observe this villagers working in it. Well, before we did see the factories before, he was about to turn around his back and stuff and keep going with Roger. So we do know that he's been there for already a minute. The men were forced to work there by Shogun's order. All they got was nothing but a little earnings that they couldn't even feed their families with. What did they do? I was like, what? Why did they listen to Orochi? That's because a man called Kaido has been backing him. And that's strength. Indeed, he's worthy of being called a monster. So Orochi's been using his power too. Yes, even if people tried to fight back. No, Kin, don't say anything about it. No, tell everything to me. Raizo, bring Momonosuke, Sama, and Lady Hiori outside. Got it? Half a year ago at the weapon factory, a man opposed the manual labor given to him. And then, he and his family were executed by Orochi. Under Orochi's continuous violence, and we were at the end of our rope. We left our anger, took let our anger uh, took over, and began attacking Orochi's residence at the capital. But Orochi made a secret move, and at the same time, Kaido and his forces were already at Curry. They raided the castle prior. Their target was Momonosuke Sama, who was the next successor of the Kozuki clan. As a result, Kawamatsu. And Urashi Urash, were defending the castle, had to make some sort of a plan to escape. But Tokisama was pierced by an enemy's arrow while defending the kids. We deeply apologize because we weren't thinking straight. Tokisama was deeply wounded on her leg, and we put your family into great danger. We deeply apologize for our mistake. Please forgive us. Show me, Toki. It's fine. Odin's son, the injury is already healed. Oh, man. Freaking Batman. I, it had to be Batman, for sure. There's no way Odin would put that character into the manga if he wasn't going to have some kind of role. For sure, it was Batman that came through. Thinking that he was going to be the greatest selling comic of all time. 
And it wasn't even coming close. So he said he goes after Toki. The prick. Oh, look at the face on Odin. You protected our children so well. It must have hurt. Wait, Odin, son. Do you get angry because of a th uh, such a thing? Again, the enemy's counterattack. Because of this. such a thing. It don't matter. You touch my wife. You get slapped up. Like, Toki, you never heard of the old tales about me, right? The old tale, not... Oh, because remember, look, Kyle has a certain scar on him. Oh, we about to see him flex. We about to see him flex. Oh, even though I know the spare way to me, I don't care, man. Left him, leaves him with a reminder at the very least. I'm well, I'm well aware of Orochi's method of things. You guys, protect my family. Protect Curry. Although I don't understand all the confusing details, I got the gist of it. Please wait, Odin Soma. An idiot has taken control of Wado Country. This week, idiot is using the power of strong pirates. Oh, man. But I know this kind of does buzz kill a little bit with Orochi there, man. Uh... So, at the very least, it's going to have to be uh, Kill Show. Most likely as the fight for um, for Zoro and stuff. Oh, but... I'm not going to lie. That's going to sting a little bit and stuff. This weak, this weak idiot is using the power of strong pirates and look at this man dashing right through villages and forests by closing the country, preventing anyone bothersome to come in. He's about to turn this country into hell. Bro, and look how we just jump right over the bridge. He's like Air Jordan, Air Odin. Odin Kazuki is heading towards the flower capital. Report to Orochi. Odin Sama has returned. Legitimate successor. Will he become Shogun? Yeah! <laughs> oh, man! Yo, my man pulled up like he was Phantom Venom. He's like, bro, what is good? He cleaned right through the entire... Everyone there in the capital. Off the way till he get to him. Please respond, Shogun Orochi. He's like, eh! Yeah. Oda Kozuki has invaded the castle. All soldiers were annihilated. All soldiers... Not a single person could go in and try to lay any work on him. I mean, of course, their father and stuff. But at the same time, if you bring an army to my man, Air Odin, it don't matter. He gonna work you. As he should. Man, this man was putting up triple doubles at one point in time. He might have got crossed over by Goldie Roger. But you know what? The talent was there. This man can walk. You know, look, put him in the NBA, man. He's putting up numbers. Please run away. It's like, wait. Odin's, bro, look at him, double sword. He's like, I'm moving. Oh, oh, man. Odin, son, think carefully. If you cut me down, Kaido won't stay quiet. Think about what will happen to this country. First, I'll cut you down. I know I'm not supposed to get hyped, but come on, man. I'll cut you down. That's right. This guy is crazy. Bro, don't tell me at the end of the chapter. Odin, man. What the hell? I gotta wait a whole week. I already had to wait two. Oh, man. Because I know the dim end result of all this is gonna lead to bad things, bad intentions, despair. Oh, man. You want to see a Molly Waparochi so bad, but you we already know the events of the story and everything what happens. Oh my god. It wouldn't surprise me by next chapter. It's going to lead to his death and then the flashback ends after. It wouldn't surprise me one bit. In terms of pacing, I could see Odin do, uh, Oda doing that. Oh man. He pulled up. He said screw the army. He hopped over a bridge. Called himself Air Odin. The man had a sponsorship deal before he went in the grave at least. And he was ready to go at him, and obviously, the, the, Kaido's gonna be lurking around. And he hears him, he's in danger, saying, That's good thing! He's gonna come in and try and jump him. And of course, we know the man has a mark on his abdomen because of Air Odin. And I hate it. I hate the fact that we know the feeling because we know the story, but we're getting into those stages of what we're about to find out, and it's like, Damn it, man. But the very moment that someone comes in there, and I'm praying it's Zoro, and if not at the very least, like someone someone from the family, man, Yori, Momonosuke, someone more tied to Odin, and just Wano in general, comes and just slaps him up. 
gonna be needed, man. But dude, this is a very good chapter to come back on. Like translation itself, you know, that's what we'll have someday for and everything. But this is a great chapter to come back on, man. Like, but it does tell me that the flashbacks gonna come to an end soon. I'll give it like another chapter or two, maybe. But then again, because of how far we came in right now, it wouldn't surprise me within another chapter or so. Well, we're gonna see like his demise and stuff. So, man, oh, damn, bro, it's sad because we don't actually get to see like what's gonna happen with Roger after like the talk with him and the white beard and stuff. Which I feel like that's gonna be a talk that's probably gonna happen at a different point in time in the story. Maybe something to do with you know if we get uh, more into like Roger and stuff. You know when he was a kid or something. Who knows? And then you know flash forward to talk with white fear because we already got enough of the adventure and stuff from you know the flashback and everything but man and then need to know what's going on with gabon seagull and all these other guys and stuff what they've been up to the only one we know of of course aside from like you know shanks and uh with buggy was crocus and everything but man what a job there this is man don't freak you out about to get waxed he's about to get waxed man and then oh but I know I'm not supposed to be hype because we know what's going to come afterwards, man. But, yo. Yeah. Great chapter this week. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below in regards to One Piece this week. Let me know, like, just a general feeling. You have to be feeling what I'm feeling right now. Obviously, we know what's going to happen after the fact. But it's like these little things that tell us from Oda. It's like, yo, he was ready to go in with it. And it's like, no, I got to remind you, this is not how it's going to play out for you. And that nothing's going to happen more than just utter despair coming your way. So let me know if you're feeling the same way I'm feeling with this chapter. Because a lot of greatness, but you already know the sadness is going to come in. Uh, if there's anything in the chapter you felt was important, I didn't talk about too much in detail. If there's something I may have missed somehow or in the translation, whatever it is, let me know your thoughts down in the comments regarding that. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new here. If you want to be part of the weekly experience when it comes to my coverage of One Piece week in and week out. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click on the bell, send door to see the day with everything that goes on the channel. And with that being said, I'm assuming next week we should be good to go and stuff. So for chapter 969, I shouldn't I shouldn't do the Birdman rub. I shouldn't do it because I know for a fact that we're probably going to get to some very sad stuff soon. But all I know is this flashback has been heat, and it's going to end on a sad note. But at the very least, though. When we actually get to the moment where we actually see Orochi face-to-face -face with Zoro or Hiori or Momonosuke or whoever, maybe even hell, even Luffy, just because, you know, for the whole vibe of just, you know, knocking down people that are just downright disrespectful and just the scum of the earth. Whoever it may be, I don't even care at this point, needs to destroy Orochi. Just mangle his face. The buck teeth ain't it. Rip them something else, man. Destroy his face, whatever you have to do. Just make it to this man that doesn't want to live. Plain and simple. But until then, guys, I'll catch you guys next week. And hopefully, I'm not going to be tearing up too much for sure for what's to come. So, Commodore Last signing off. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, take care.